I mean, you know, there have been a lot of important things that have happened in the last six weeks, but for me, the most terrible tragedy has been that Rainbow is returning, but Geoffrey from Rainbow is not going to be in the series, which I think is fantastic. Stuart, perhaps we can do something about it, can't we? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome here tonight Geoffrey from Rainbow? <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Jeffrey from Rainbow. <laughs> Hello, Rich. Before we go on, uh, I've always wondered, who is it who dreamt up the amazing sort of surreal concept of Rainbow? What do you mean, Rich? It wasn't dreamt up by anybody. No, it was, in fact, TV's first fly-on-the-wall documentary series. <laughs> I first met Zippy George Lambungle yeah. back in, uh, ooh, 1971 at art school. Right. <laughs> and we decided to rent a place together, you know, just to save on the living expenses. <laughs> Didn't you think at the time, Jeffrey from Rainbow, that, you know, Zippy, George and Bungle were a bit odd, weren't they? <laughs> Stu, baby, this was 1971, remember? <laughs> Things were really wild back then. Mm. We found a nice, cheap place in Lubbock Grove, and one day a, a TV producer friend of mine came round, and he said, uh, what an amazing combination of personalities. <laughs> We ought to put this on the telly, you know. Well, we thought he was balmy. I mean, who'd be interested in an ordinary man, a bear, a pink hippo, a sort of zip mouth thing? <laughs> but you know, guys, it did work. And for 20 years, the camera crew would come round about midday, set the cameras rolling, and well, whatever we were doing that day, that would be the day's show. So, <laughs> didn't you have any human friends, Jeffrey? <laughs> Of course I did, yeah. Well, not strange or uh, anything. <laughs> well, no, don't forget, there was Rod, Jane and Freddy. They were living in the flat downstairs. <laughs> well, they're only living together to save on the living expenses, yeah, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I used to really like Jane, actually. Uh, her, Janet Ellis, and the blonde one from ABBA must take joint responsibility for the awakening of my sexuality, actually. <laughs> Didn't you ever stop to think, Geoffrey, though? I'm, you know, I'm 51 years old. It's time I stopped living with felt animals. <laughs> Cartoon house, you know, and got a job, found a place of my own. You Stu, know? don't be rude. Jeffrey from Rainbow is our guest. Yeah. It's all right, Rich. No, I, I don't mind. I mean, uh, see, the thing is, Stu, uh, well, I got on so well with the guys. <laughs> we were just rebels. <laughs> the original Generation X. So, Jeffrey from Rainbow, if you got on so well, why the split from the other Rainbow guys? Basically, it's the, it's the new TV bosses, you see. They're to blame. I went down the shops the other day just to buy some crayons. <laughs> Then when I got back, I found all my stuff in bin bags on the front lawn. All my wonderful, colourful shirts, my storybook. Oh. Everything. Back in the 70s, when we'd signed the contracts, uh, we'd all been a bit naive, you see, especially George. <laughs> we just signed all our rights away. Anyway, the TV bosses have already let my room out to a politically correct female puppet. A puppet? How pathetic. I mean, what next? Are they going to say Zippy is replaced by a puppet, are they? Or, or George? <laughs> Who's going to tell Zippy off now, eh, if he steps out of line? He's going to tell a puppet to piss off, isn't he? <laughs> well, Fist of Fun listeners, you've heard the facts. TV boss Dawn Airy, who axed Geoffrey from Rainbow, said this week, we have listened to public opinion. But have they? Have they, f <laughs> <laughs> Who here thinks that Geoffrey from Rainbow should still be in Rainbow? <laughs> that, Dawn Airy, is the real public opinion. Mr. Fun says TV boss Dawn Airy is a fool if she thinks Rainbow will be any good without Jeffrey from Rainbow. It is she who should be replaced by a puppet. If you agree, please write to Tetra Films of London, 175 Tottenham Court Road, London. Remember to mark your envelopes. Dawn Airy should be replaced by a puppet. And see how she likes it. We're handing around a petition here in the studio, which we want you all to sign by the end of the programme. We suggest you do the same at your school, college or workplace. Together, we can win! Thanks, guys, for having me along. Uh, listen, before I go, though, uh, if there are any animals made of felt out there looking for a flatmate, then uh, <laughs> please let me know. Thanks.